Hey guys, it's Rob and I've just got my little uh, Hobby King quad with the multi wee Pro Board. Just once again showing you the uh, GPS hover. So it's moving around quite dramatically and uh, the height is just not staying consistent at all. It's quite windy today and uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick demonstration of this quad and then I'll compare it to uh, the ones with the NASA. Just see there's a huge difference. See that just blew back about 5 metres then. It's really moving all over the place. Now it's climbing, climbing about 40 feet high. Look at that, it's just skyrocketing. They haven't even touched the controls at all. Let's try and work that one out. Yeah, it's still going up. Okay, I'll stop the video there and I'll land and I'll, uh, I'll put one of my NASA equipped quads up. You'll see the difference. And just for a comparison, there's the uh, Hobby King X650F with the NASA. You'll see the, um, the altitude and position hold under the exactly the same wind conditions is just so much better. There's really no comparison. It is moving around a little bit, but it's basically staying within, uh, within a metre of the same position and the height's not deviating by more than uh, two or three feet maximum. That's all completely hands off. Okay, after this I'll uh, put up the uh, Alien 560 which has also got a NASA. And you'll see how that one flies. Thanks for watching. And there's the Alien 560 again with a NASA. Uh, you'll see again it's rock steady and it's hover and altitude holding. So it'll just sit there for the entire duration of the battery. Only going up and down about uh, 24 inches maximum and drifting no more than about half a metre.